G'day viewers, Retro Man is back with another Tulsa King review. Today I'll be talking about episode 4. Stay tuned for more. Coming to you from a basement studio somewhere down under, it's the 80s show with Australia's Retro Man. On tonight's show, Retro Man reviews episode 4 of Tulsa King. Well, what are we waiting for? Lights, camera, Retro Man. G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to the 80s show. Now today I'll be reviewing episode 4 of Tulsa King titled Visitation Place. Now this episode gets off to a real jolt. I mean Stallone's character Dwight actually pays Amand a visit. Amanda's the guy that tried to knock him off in the previous episode and we find out that these two have a history. Actually, Amand tried to knock off Stallone because he thought Stallone had been sent to Tulsa to knock him off. So there's a bit of confusion there and uh, they have a history, as I said, 25 years ago, it seems Amand was caught up in this little thing that Stallone was put away for. And we found out that Amand actually has been in Tulsa for 19 years as the family have kind of banished him as well. So uh, it's all very interesting. And it seems now that Amand and Dwight are going to get together and uh, this could be the beginning of a new business relationship. Now the main focus of this episode is actually nitrous oxide. Yes, laughing gas. What's going on is that Dwight has actually got Dyson and Bodie to go to a music festival and sell this laughing gas to youngsters. And uh, they're out there at the festival and then all of a sudden these members of a biker gang appear and they kind of confront Tyson and they say, look here, you're in on our territory, we want you out. So they end up taking the, uh, the laughing gas cylinders away and of course all the money that they've just made from selling this stuff and uh, it doesn't look good for them. So they go back and say, look Dwight, this is what went down. We've lost the gas, we've lost the money. And Dwight is like, well guys, it's time for some retribution. So basically Dwight gets the guys together. They also get bad face from that other episode. He was on the pot farm. He comes in there with them and Amand joins them. And I mean, it's just like a real posse of guys and they grab their baseball bats and they decide to go out there and uh, get vengeance with this biker mob called the McAdams. So they go and get their gas cylinders and their uh, money back and uh, it's a really exciting sequence. It's uh, yeah, quite terrifying actually seeing Dwight in uh, action mode and by the end of the sequence he's actually feeling the pinch. I mean at 75 years of age how much longer can he keep this up? But this episode has all sorts of little elements to it. I mean Tyson and his dad actually uh, are really getting a rapport going here. I mean the father is kind of really worried about Tyson's uh, friendship with Dwight. He's not very happy at all. He, he sees this ring on Tyson's finger and he's like, well, hey, are you involved with the mob? I mean, uh, maybe you're uh, not uh, going down the right path. So uh, the funny thing is, is that Tyson's dad later on decides to get in on the action because when he finds out that his son's had a bit of a beatdown, he decides to follow his son back to Dwight's to uh, join up with the guys and uh, take on the bikey crew. So that's a little interesting aspect to this one. And of course, there's a little bit of Stacy in the background there. I mean, she's trying to dust the cobwebs off her relationship with Dwight and she goes to a bar and next minute this guy in a suit kind of buys her a drink and she has an intimate encounter with this guy called Colton and she's trying to use this as a device to get over Dwight but in fact uh, it actually heightens her emotions and makes her start feeling a little bit more like she wants to go back 
to Dwight. So it kind of didn't work out the way Stacey wanted it. And uh, what else is happening here is loads of comedy, actually. It's actually got a lightness to it amongst all the heavy stuff. And uh, Dwight kind of goes and buys a new suit and uh, it's tailor-made. And there's a lot of rapport between Stallone and Tyson, which keeps this thing afloat. And I really like that. And uh, it was a good episode overall, very solid, full of tension. As I said, there's some nice humour in this one. And Amanda's popping up now, and he's this really hardcore gangster type. And I think Stallone and him are going to have a very interesting relationship as this series progresses. So now you have actually Dwight, Tyson and Amand coming together and it's quite an interesting dynamic. And by the end of the episode, for pure emotion, we find out that Dwight's younger brother is in fact dying, and uh, Dwight tries to connect with him at the end of his life there, and they, uh, Dwight sort of shares a story with him. He's in hospital, basically on his deathbed, and uh, it's quite emotional. He shares a childhood story with his younger brother, and uh, yeah, it really tears at the heartstrings, guys. So this episode has, like I said, a lot going for it. It holds its standard. And what can I say? Bring on episode five. So have you seen episode four of Tulsa King? Are you following this series? Do you think it really has the metal to move into a second season? I mean, so far four episodes down and it's still going strong and I'm really invested in this and I can't wait for the next one. So share your comments in the box below. And of course, guys, keep watching the 80s show. As always, please like, comment and subscribe. So until next time, this is Retro Man, living the dream, 80s style. Stay gold. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang and just as tough as Stallone in Tulsa King. Please subscribe and good night, viewers.